light. Image formed by plane mirror. Do you know the characteristics of the image formed by plane mirror? Let's see some characteristics of images formed by plane mirror. A plane mirror forms the virtual image of the object. Image size is always the same as that of the object and does not depend upon the size of plane mirror. Image is always upright like the object. An upright image is also called an erect image. Image is always as far inside the mirror as the object is in front of the subject. In an image formed by a mirror, the left of the object appears on the right and the right appears on the left. This is known as lateral inversion. So, a plane mirror forms a virtual, erect, and lateral inversion image of an object. Regular and Irregular Reflections Take a look at the images appearing on the screen. Do you find any difference between the surfaces of the images appeared on the screen? Yes. Mirror and water are smooth surfaces, while wall and paper are rough surfaces. The image is formed by reflection from two different types of surfaces. 1. Smooth plane surface 2. Rough plane surfaces The reflection of light from these two types of surfaces gives rise to two categories of reflections. 1. Regular reflection 2. Irregular reflection Reflection of a set of parallel light rays incident on a smooth or flat surface produces parallel reflected light rays. Such type of reflection is called regular reflection. Images formed by regular reflection are always clean and distinct. Reflection of a set of parallel light rays incident on a rough surface produce Reflected light rays that travel in different directions. Such type of reflection is called a diffused or irregular reflection. Objects like plastic sheets, writing paper, cloths, wood have plain but not smooth surfaces. Since in diffused reflection, reflected rays travel in different directions, they do not produce a clean or complete image of an object. Some extremely rough surfaces like wood, paper, etc. do not produce any image due to highly diffused reflection. Luminous and non-luminous objects Do we see all objects due to reflected light? Nearly everything we see around us is due to reflected light. For example, moon. It receives light from the sun and reflects it. That is how we see the moon. The objects which shine in the light of other objects are called illuminated or non-luminous objects. On the other hand, there are other objects which give their own light, such as the sun, fire, flame of a candle, and an electric lamp. Their light falls on our eyes due to which we can see them. The objects which emit their own light are known as luminous objects. Multiple images. Take two small rectangular plane mirrors. Now join them from two edges by pasting sellotape behind them. Make them stand on a table. Now, keep a small object like a pen cap or candle between them 
and observe the multiple images so formed at an angle of 120 degrees. Let's now decrease the angle to 90 degrees. The number of images increases as we decrease the angle between the mirrors. Multiple reflections can be used to make more than one image of an object. To make multiple images, we must keep two plane mirrors inclined to each other at various angles like 180 degrees, 120 degrees, 90 degrees, 60 degrees, etc. The use of reflection of light rays more than once to view an object is called multiple reflections. A hairstylist uses two mirrors to show us our haircut on head's backside. Have you seen a kaleidoscope? It consists of a tube containing various inclined plane mirrors and colored glass pieces or shiny objects to make colorful patterns by multiple reflections of light. Let us summarize what we have learned. A plane mirror forms the virtual image of the object. In an image formed by a mirror, the left of the object appears on the right and the right appears on the left. This is called lateral inversion. Reflection of a set of parallel light rays incident on a smooth or flat surface produces parallel reflected light rays is called as regular reflection. Reflection of a set of parallel light rays incident on a rough surface produces reflected light rays that travel in different directions is called irregular reflection. The objects which shine in the light of other objects are called illuminated or non-luminous objects. The objects which emit their own light are known as luminous objects. Multiple reflections can be used to make more than one image of an object. The use of reflection of light rays more than once to view an object is called multiple reflections.